some of us, when we were raised up, our parents were so tough. And guess what they told us? Stuck in Mimba Apa. Na stay kukona na kijana. Na nikuone siku moja. Na nikuone siku moja. Yes. And, you, and you knew how tough your mom was. And at that young subconscious mind, fear was invested. And then as you are growing, you discover you have this sexual urge. Nobody taught you about self-control. Yeah. So someone introduced masturbation. So you got a way of relieving the urge without disappointing your parents. So you never get pregnant. You don't, you'll never get HIV. You'll never exactly. get STI. Yes. It, they call it safe sex. Good or good. Yes. It's, the, it's safe sex. Yeah. So at the end of the day, so you grew with that fear and you didn't want to disappoint anyone. But right now, it's no longer a fear. It's a lifestyle that keeps on robbing your dignity. I saw Kunyonga Sai, it's uh, because I it's went glorified. and did a bit of research about it. Yes. Na Kunyonga, it's masturbation. Yes. And people are openly talking about it. And, and I'll tell you, people are not openly talking about it because yeah. they want. It is a cry of, hey guys, help us. We are stuck. Ah, this thing is there. It's a reality ah, in our society. Yeah. So it's a cry for help. Yes, people are putting a cool face, but deep down, guys are crashing because anytime a person masturbates, they feel empty. They feel a void. They feel desperate. They feel they, they can't even they can't face that person on the mirror. Some of these vows, they stay as a legal statements in the spirit, and they can act against you. There are many people who are single, and the reality is that they have never loved anyone else more than they loved that ex. Mm -hmm. And when you look at their dealings, is that there are serious vows. Hello, welcome to Tuka Talks. My name is Lynn Gogi. Now, a few weeks ago, we hosted Veni Katoti, the lady who confessed to having slept with demons. And by demons, I mean snakes, men, and people who she could not identify in the dreams. Some of you on the comment section were like, easy V to Zico. And some of you were like, nah, there's no way someone can sleep with demons. Spiritual husbands and spiritual wives do not exist. And some of you also recommended we look for Pastor T to come and elaborate further on this topic. So without further ado, please allow me to let my guest today introduce himself. Hello. Wow, thank you very much. Yes. My name is Pastor T Mwangi. Yeah. Um, I'm the resident pastor Life Church International Limuru. Mm -hmm. I'm also the founder of Truth Mentorship Society, yeah. where we do mentorship on the youths uh, yeah. in Kenya. Currently in Nairobi, Thika, Eldoret, Nakuru. Uh, yeah, those are the towns that we are present in. Yes. Uh, what else? I'm a husband, a father, uh, I'm an author and also a TV presenter at KBC. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that's, that's the profile. In a nutshell. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> and I know you are so many things, you know, and I just love how relatable you are to people. Mm. Because as I said, when we brought that topic, yes. uh, even before we get into the conversation, yes. people, oh, you can even go in the comment section. <laughs> they were like, look for Pastor T to talk to us about this topic. Mm. Why would people recommend that we get you to talk about spirit husbands? Why sleeping with demons and masturbation i think there's, there's a time i i did a whole sermon on we're calling it the last vegas you know there's las vegas oh. and then the last vegas okay and uh, we, we we talked about understanding the spirit of masturbation mm -hmm. the anatomy of sex the spiritual infrastructure of sex and through that you cannot fail to talk about soul ties because the whole thing about spiritual husbands or wives comes under soul ties. Um, there are four types of soul ties. A soul tie is a knitting of the soul. Uh, the, 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 a, a man, what they say, a man is a triune being. Triune means you are three entities in one. Yes. You are a body, soul, and spirit. <laughs> so the soul is where we have the will, the emotions, and the logic. And, and it is where we have the senses the conscious, the subconscious, the memory. Mm -hmm. And when you are tied in the soulish dimension, it looks like a person has control over you. Mm -hmm. And so there, there are four ways that a person can, be, can have a soul tie. Number one, you can have a soul tie because of conversations. When you open up some very deep truths to a person, uh, you feel vulnerable to that person. Mm -hmm. You feel like they know you so much and there's an attachment. Exactly. And this is the case of Jonathan and David. 
there's a soul tie just by sharing very deep seated mm -hmm. uh, truths mm -hmm. or secrets about yourself. There's a soul tie created by sexual intercourse. What people don't know that sex is more spiritual than it is physical. Really? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. because the, the original intention of sex was for union and communion. Sex was not a tool of pleasure. It's only that in the union and communion, sex came with a package of pleasure. So many people have used it for pleasure because they don't understand the purpose. It is sex that makes men one. So there is a union. And even in a wedding, there is the marriage and there is the wedding. The mm -hmm. wedding is where we declare men, husband and wife and we eat rice. But the marriage begins uh, during the consummation in the matrimonial bed. Yes. That's where souls are tied. Mm -hmm. And that's why when people are married for long, they begin to look the same. Their conversation are the same. Even their emotions, yes. sometimes they will respond to something in the same way because there's such a union. Mm -hmm. From the concept of you sleep with a prostitute, become one with a prostitute. Uh, there's also soul ties made by vows and commitments. You know those days you're in class six, you my choking, is a box. Yeah. Some of us, you know, those were blood covenants. Mm -hmm. And some of these vows, they stay as a legal statements in the spirit and they can act against you. There are many people who are single and the reality is that they have never loved anyone else more than they loved that ex. Mm -hmm. And when you look at their dealings is that there are serious vows. And that's why when we get married, we make vows because vows stand as a statement in the spirit. Yes. And God can write on that statement to fight for your marriage. Demons can write on that statement to, to fight. Break also mm. uh, to fight you in the walk of marriage. Mm. Now the final one is called demonic soul ties. And this is now the visitation of these spirits that come in dreams. Uh, the first thing I really feel, these are very delicate topic, we can't rush. Yes. So we need to begin with definitions. Okay. So what is a demon? Exactly. Yes, what is a demon? A demon is a disembodied spirit. So demons are spirit. The origin of demons, they come from the fallen angels. You remember in the Bible narration, a third of the angels fell. Mm -hmm. So a third of that entity is what forms the demonic world. So the demonic world is the fallen dimension of the angelic mm -hmm. and they have no bodies. So these are disembodied spirits. Mm -hmm. And demons are not legal on earth until someone partners with them. They have no legal ground. Wow. They, they are access on earth is through partnerships. And that's why you'll hear people talk about altars. Someone must have invoked them for them to have access. Mm -hmm. And there are levels whereby these demons are legal. The operation is not illegal, it is legal. And even as we, we, we look at this, you know, the incubus succubus, you'll discover yeah. it's not something that just happens. There must be a spiritual gateway. When we look in Matthew 16, uh, the Bible says that I will give you the keys uh, of the kingdom and whatever you call, uh, and you know, he says, upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. So there are gates, mm -hmm. there are openings mm -hmm. where which can, spiritually we call them portals. A portal is a spiritual gate yeah. that connects the physical world with the spiritual world. And this is the, the this is the, 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 what do I call it? It is the genesis of all demonic activities generally. Mm -hmm. uh, if you come from a home where people involved in witchcraft, by the virtue of them raising a sacrifice, enchantment and invoking demons, they have opened a door in that family for demonic attack. And some of those demons are, are genuine. Yes. So in the demonic realm, we need to understand that that realm is a product of ranks. It's a product of ranks. There are many demons mentioned in the Bible. There's a whole study in theology called demonology. Mm -hmm. It is a real statement. I'm getting schooled here today. <laughs> and and yeah. it is such a wide topic. It's such a wide topic. The, the Bible, of course, majors on the victory uh, of Calvary and the supremacy mm -hmm. of Christ and the power that is above the demonic. But when you take time to study demonology which becomes even the foundation of understanding the genesis of witchcraft and how the occultic world operates uh, you will understand that um, demons are very organized that kingdom is not in chaos even jesus said a kingdom divided will collapse yes. in in mark 5. so the kingdom is not divided 
and they operate under principalities. And what the, the occultic and the witch world has done is that they have the seven princes of hell. They have their seven princes of hell. Mm -hmm. And these princes have different assignments. You know, like what is in the Bible, we have the Leviathan spirit. The Leviathan spirit is the, is the spirit of lies. So right now you have a court case. I can invoke the Leviathan mm. and the lies will begin to go through the courtroom and you get your verdict. Yes, you know, yes. there's also the behemoth, the spirit. These are spirit. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a territorial. This is where now you have bodies that control the globe. It's from the behemoth dimension. This is a global level mm -hmm. of demonic engagement. Mm -hmm. um, we also have Belial. Belial is a demon. It's mentioned in the Bible, but yeah. people bypass it. Uh, we have Apollyon. Apollyon is there in the Bible. And then we have Asmodi. Asmodi is connected with relationships. It's, it's Asmodi or Asmodias. Mm -hmm. This one is connected with relationship. Mm -hmm. the, the success and the breakage of marriages. That's why you'll hear people going to a witch yeah. to get powers, yeah. to get a husband. Yes. What they invoke at that level is the Asmodias demon. There are people who go to a witch and say, we want this marriage dead. And so what will they do? They will go and invoke the Asmodias demon. So this is the demon in charge of relationships. Mm -hmm. And under and, and, and this chief demon, there are demons like foot soldiers under it. And this is where now we get the entity of the spiritual husbands and spiritual wives, mm. which in Greek, because they are given the Greek names, they are called the incubus and the succubus. The incubus is the male version of this demon. It has a male infrastructure. The succubus is the female version of this demon. Okay. I've met that retaliation of where, what do you mean? And you sleep with demons. Exactly. What? Yeah. Yes. And and uh, the reality is there is a city called Ouagadougou. What? Ouagadougou. Ouagadougou. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's a capital city. I don't uh, know for which nation. Uh, okay. You see, you don't know about yes. it. Yes. But that does not mean it does not exist. But does it exist? Yes, it exists. Okay. So the fact that you have not experienced or encountered does not mean does not mean does not exist. Mm -hmm. This is not mysticism. This is real. So in short, yes. Spirit husbands and spirit wives are there. Yes. And I'll give a very simple illustration. Yes. I've had dreams in my life. I've dreamt stealing the bank. And I tell you, we stole a lot of money in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> and I woke up very poor. There was not even a shilling in my pocket. I dreamt going to bashes where we were eating. And I tell you, I ate, but I woke up very hungry. But how comes that any time you dream having sex, when you wake up in the morning, there's evidence, there's ejaculation. You, you could really tell something has happened yes what people don't know is that dreams are gates of spiritual interaction wow. and it's there in the bible solomon slept as an ordinary man he woke up as a wise king the interaction happened in a dream the whole visitation of solomon yes. was in a dream the lord came in a dream god is a spirit and asked him what do you want and he said i want wisdom the man answered he received wisdom in a dream so that tells you we can have transactions in dreams. So not every dream is a dream. Some dreams are real transactions. And, and it, takes, it, it takes a level of spiritual engagement for you to be attacked at that level of dreams. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and it's a disadvantage because in a dream, you are in your subconscious state. So you are not in your full consciousness. Yes. So it is an unfair attack. And I sit here telling you, I'm a pastor and I've had those attacks of seeing images of ladies Beautiful coming. Beautiful women. Yes. And, and I'll even give a very personal story. Yeah. Uh, uh, and before I give that story, uh -huh. I'll, I'll attach it with the gates that open. I told you demons don't just come. There you must be a gate. Invoke, the yes. gates that open the attack of these incubus and succubus. Mm -hmm. The first one is the gate of fornication sex before marriage it opens a demonic portal for the attack a legal attack of these demons number two is pornography pornography is a very vast topic because what pornography does when i used to watch porn when i was a young boy there, there are some introductions that will come and i will see things like demons with horns and they will call it the devil's kitchen and i didn't know so when i got born again i understood mm -hmm. This thing is actually manufactured from hell. And what happens in, in the Bible, 
the scriptures say that your eyes are the gate to your soul. So the moment you enter on internet, Google pornography, guess what? You are the one going where the demons are. They are so not coming to you. They are not you, coming you, to you. You are going to the demons. Yes, when do you there? So as they come, they are legal. And that's why pornography becomes a very major gate. And most of the people who watch porn will always end up in masturbation. Because automatically you have... You have you get out yes. on. You, you just yes. invited it. Mm -hmm. You just invited the demon. And so it becomes a pattern. I have to watch porn and then I have to masturbate. So what happens is that now the demon begins to give you those desires of a hey, watch, then masturbate. So it becomes a pattern. So pornography also opens that portal okay. of, of, of it. Yes. There's also the place of witchcraft. You know, when people console these witches, they open a portal of a whole demonic world. There's a place of molestation. When people are abused sexually when they are young, they, th that door is open. Mm -hmm. Molestation or even sexual abuse, mm -hmm. it opens. Because anytime you're molested, there is a level of bitterness uh, and, and forgiveness yes. that comes. Yes. And, and that opens that door. There's the mm -hmm. place of fear. Yes. Fear is the cause of unbelief. Uh, there's the place of bitterness and unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. It opens that door. There's also a place of now spiritual warfare. Now that's where the church comes in. Mm. I tell you there are people in church, born again, tongue speaking, fiery, but they've had these encounters. Because when you engage in spiritual warfare, you are opening your spirit to the realms of the spirit. And so anything can attack you, mm -hmm. especially when you're taking long days of fasting. Because yeah. on this day, I was taking a 21 day of fast. And on the 20th day, a female like entity showed up in a dream, naked. And this one looked like my wife. And I'm talking about a recent thing. It looked like my wife, but this, this image was dark. And literally I felt like someone woke me up. Mm. And, and I could, when I woke up is when I woke up to the realization and I said, what? Wow. So I called my spiritual mom and she told me, these yeah. are attacks to cut you from prayer. It's like a defilement in that level. That's why I'm saying it's a very, it's, it's a very high ranking kind of attack. It's, it's not the ordinary, attacks these are very high ranking level mm -hmm. of attack mm -hmm. so so many that's why there are people who pray for many years for many days and boom this attack happens because of spiritual warfare because anytime you're spiritually you you pour your spiritual self out yeah. and you become very empty and vulnerable yeah. there's also the place of carnality carnality is whereby you know you're just in the flesh conversation the music and all that mm -hmm. uh, uh, all that and even atmospheres mm -hmm. some of the music are so demonic and you know they they don't hide it it's 100 you're, percent you, yes you're just listening to the voice of demons uh, and so it opens all this mm. so these demons always take advantage of a broken hedge it's a broken hedge and and some people are innocent because like there's a lady i met who grew up in bitterness because she grew came from a family where the father was abusive mm -hmm. and her story was it's like there was a demon that would visit her in dreams. And as she grew, the demon grew. And she lost her virginity in a dream through this demon. So ideally, uh, they come and most of the encounters is not sex, it's like rape. It's like they force themselves to you. Mm -hmm. So it looks like it is rape. And, and, and the main assignment of this demon is to release a spirit of lust. Every demonic assignment is to kill, to destroy, and you know, to steal. Yes. So the main assignment for this particular demon is to release lust. Now, lust is an appetite, sexual, that wants to be met in an illegal way. way. Oh, yes. That's why when people sleep with these demons, the next thing they'll find themselves in perversion, or the next thing they'll find themselves in masturbation, mm -hmm. because it comes to conceive the spirit of lust. The principle of sex, is that anytime there is intercourse, mm -hmm. something is supposed to be conceived. So the principle of this spiritual level of sex is that it's coming to conceive something in you. Mm -hmm. And that's the spirit of lust. Yes. And this is not something you can say that you prayed and it ended because they recur. They recur. Oh, it's like an addiction. Not even an addiction. Yeah. It's an attack. It's an attack. Yeah. And, and the way to understand attack is taking the picture of Mandamano. 
You know when guys were doing the mandamano, yeah. the police will come, Hakiye release tu. tear gas, mm -hmm. guys will disperse, yeah. then unaskia wame gather kamukunji, yes. wame anza tena fresh. Yeah. That's the life of demons. You when you praise like you release a tear gas, so they scatter temporarily. Then unaskia sa hizi zinatoka uhuru pa, mm -hmm. zinarudi. Yeah. That's why we have to sustain a culture of prayer. You don't just pray once and think, ah, I prayed, it's over. Mm. You have to sustain a culture of prayer and sustain a culture of living right. Purity. You have to sustain it. There's a day I was in Meru and I had gone for mission. I had driven the whole night. And I tell you, as, as I was sleeping, I felt literally something has gotten into the bed. And I felt this is someone's leg. And, and I struggled, you know, and I, I broke through and I said, Jesus. Then something came in my spirit. And I discovered one, I'm sleeping in a very strange lodging. So I don't know the kind of dealings that happen here. Mm -hmm. So I prayed. And that's why sometimes you get in hotel rooms and you begin to pray and say, Lord, I dedicate this house. Mm -hmm. uh, tonight I'm sleeping under the covering. Because you don't know the dealings of that particular house, yeah. you might become a victim mm -hmm. because some of those rooms, people have been raped there, yeah. all manner. Mm -hmm. So you enter in a room and you find it's, it's demonic in nature. Mm -hmm. So these things are there. Yeah. For those who have never experienced, may God bless them. Oh, they are loved by Jesus. And that, does, and that should not be a ground to make them criticize them that have experienced. Because you can imagine if you were molested when you were young, a gate was open that you didn't wish to open. Exactly. So already you are facing a battle that criticizing or making it look like, oh, you guys, what are you trying to say? Yeah. Because I've heard it on the pulpit. I've heard people say, what are you talking about, spiritual demons? This thing is, is nonsense. And I'm like, if you've never experienced it, you may not understand it. But there's someone who has experienced it and they're asking, how do I get out? Yes. And so if you're the pastor who feels it is nonsense, you're not helping this person. What happens is that these demons now make a claim over you. But this claim has a background. That's why I say, it. for me, you have to locate which door was open before you deal. Because a door must have been opened. Yes, a door must have been Before open. you become a victim. Yes, I say demons are illegal on earth. Yeah. They are illegal in your life. So you must ask yourself, which door? Yes. Which door was open mm -hmm. for this? Because unless the door is closed, uh, will, it will be in vain. Yeah. And there are those that need uh, someone to pray with you to close the door. Mm -hmm. You know, like in the case of molestation. But if you're in pornography, you need what I call participatory deliverance. You know, there are people, you can't deliver them until they participate. Until they, they must say, I'm willing. Delivered. Yes, yes, I'm willing. Pasi yeah. niko willing yeah. kuenda kudilit maufala zote, niko willing kununua kabambe, mm. niko willing. Mm. Because prayers, uh, prayer will give you the strength to overcome. But you must act to overcome. So prayer is like an empowerment that will give you the power to overcome. Mm. But if still you have a bambi, you I mean you have a smartphone, you mm -hmm. have a smartphone, internet, yeah. now all the things you remember watch, you watch mm -hmm. I tell you, 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 you'll still go back uh -huh. to the same level. Okay, let me ask Pastor T. Yes. Assuming I'm dealing with spirit husbands and spirit wives, uh, apart from sex and the whole masturbation, how else do I know I am dealing with these people? Um, yeah, for, for me, for the, for the incubus and succubus, mm. they visit through sex. Remember I said there are different yeah. uh, demonic mm -hmm. activities, but mm -hmm. this one now is a specific one. Yeah. They'll come and violate you. They come and some of them get an entitlement off. It's like they owe you. You can't even get married. By the time, like, like for this lady, yeah. uh, she even said it's like they got spiritual children. Yes. She will sleep at night and see children coming and they want to take milk mm -hmm. and sometimes she will feel very weak so all her dreams were like fighting and one day she was in a relationship which was almost maturing into marriage and she began to feel suicide and she told the guy me i don't even know why i'm alive you know i just feel like committing suicide so the guy felt and the way i'm full of life why am i planning life with a person who's suicidal mm -hmm. so the relationship broke Ended, yeah. and so at night she went into prayer and she was asking what's happening she couldn't understand and that night, there was a visitation of the demon. And she had a voice clearly. And she mm -hmm. saw something like the form of the demon. And the demon said, I own you. I own you. You are mine. And you can't go anywhere. Yeah. So she understood. So all along, the reason why I'll begin relationship and they will not mature yes. is because there was this demonic claim mm -hmm. and this soul tie. And what she shared was, Anytime she slept with this demon, there was a form of comfort. Like she will break up, the demon will come, you know, 
in the dreams and then in the morning she'll feel like oh, oops there is a relief mm. so it's like there was a fo false comfort mm. uh concerning uh, this particular uh, demonic visitation yeah. uh and there are many people who who are bound for it to mature to a level of spiritual husbands and spiritual wives it means the visits are intensive science will call it wet dreams that's what science will call yes. it because that science will try to give it a name mm -hmm. and they will justify they come when you're in puberty yeah and you have to understand that it is in puberty when now you are sexually active and also sexually productive these things cannot come before you enter puberty and it is in puberty mm -hmm. where now slowly even your purpose begins to get definition it is a place of a lot of self discovery so and it's also a place where strange doors are open yeah. they say a, a standard boy majority of the young people Sorry. masturbate between the age of 15 yeah. to 19 mm -hmm. so it looks like majority that's the age so it looks like that's the initiation and the recruition age so it's a very technical thing mm -hmm. but there is a way out because the fact that you are yeah. there i told you the bible is a story of victory mm -hmm. and winning and ownership yeah. what's the way out the way out is very simple number one locate the gate if if there is a gate you participated in opening you must pray for grace to close that gate um forgive people bitterness is the root not just of even incubus is the root of most of the demonic attacks bitterness and forgiveness is an open gate mm -hmm. for any demonic attack mm -hmm. um locate the gate i've mentioned several locate the gate and deal with that gate mm -hmm. secondly anytime there is a visitation of that demon wake up and denounce it you see for you to divorce you must speak words if he forced to divorce my wife will be called to the ag and i'll say do you agree that she's no longer your wife and i'll say yes, yes. i agree she's no longer my wife mm. why i am i am cancelling the vow so what i need to do when i sense a visitation mm -hmm. wake up and just say father i eliminate anything that this demon wanted to deposit in me it's also important to pray before you sleep you know you know you know these prayers of we cover ourselves with the blood of jesus yeah. the hedge of the fire you know yeah. they look very casual yeah yeah and, you know, uh, 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 to be honest yes. they look casual yes, yes they look very casual yes. and people pray father the hedge of the fire yeah. the blood of jesus amen but i tell you when you have understanding it is that blood and the hedge mm -hmm. that protects men at night from any form of attack yeah. so that's why it's good to intercede even before you sleep and even pray i always when we pray at night i always tell my wife let's pray for dreams that come from god and above all interpretation let's not just dream and ask ourselves what does that mean so we know this is of god so that we have dreams and interpretation um there also need to be a life of sanctity you just need to live right righteousness is is a key that eliminate so many demonic mm -hmm, attacks mm -hmm. you just need to live right yeah uh the other thing is anytime you go for long fastings make sure you have a cover you know just speak to someone who's above you spiritually let them cover you mm -hmm. let them speak over your life yeah. so that there will be no any kind of gates what people mm -hmm. don't know when you fast for long you are sent in the realm of the spirit and the first thing you meet there is <laughs> the demonic entity yes. there are people who fast and get attacks there's even a guy who was in a prayer mountain na tulimtoa hospitali na ali have kuombewa akatolewa pepo na alikuwa naomba so he ascended in a level the first thing he received was attack so it's good to tell people just to cover you just, yeah. and and above all if if it has reached to a place of spiritual husbands and wife the bible says the anointing breaks the yoke you just need to look for an anointed man mm -hmm. of god mm -hmm. and share and allow him to pray with you yes. because the, the, there is a level of combat mm. that might be above you okay. you might need a higher grace mm -hmm. for for it to deal with right. and many have been delivered the lady i just shared a story she's now happily married mm. and settled mm -hmm. that thing left completely yes. so there's victory and there's deliverance there's victory yes. Yes. another yes. argument that was raised forward especially when veni said she would masturbate yes. i remember i saw someone say it's good to masturbate yes. because uh, once you masturbate it prevents you from cheating on your wife cheating on your husband yes. what's the argument in that uh, number one i'll say uh, the definition of masturbation is self indulgence and anyone that masturbates they are responding to an appetite it's an appetite you're responding to mm. and that is lust and 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 what what we need to know 
is that there is a legal dimension of lust. Lust is a legal appetite. Because why am I saying that? The sexual desires were not put in you by the devil. Those desires were put in by God. But the moment they are met in an unbiblical way, now that is lust. That's why lust will want you to meet that desire mm. in an unbiblical way. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is the door of perversion. And so what happens is that anyone masturbating, number one is that they don't have self-control. You know, we are not animals. We, we have, we have we control. Have, we, have, yes. we don't respond to instincts. That's mm -hmm. the difference between we are in the classification of mammals, but we are not mammals. <laughs> We're just in that nomenclature classification yes. biologically. Yeah. But there is something in man that is above the, the animal kingdom. Mm -hmm. so, so there is a control in man yeah. that can make him control. You know, it's as simple as even the normal operation of life. Someone will feel like going to the toilet and they can control for a while and still go. Mm -hmm. It tells you there is, there is a system in man that can enhance control. Um, masturbation, apparently, in medical journals, it is praised. And the reality is most of the doctors masturbate. And they say it's healthy. So they say it's healthy. But what people don't know, the, most of the people who masturbate have underlying factors that trigger masturbation. One of them is always low self-esteem. It's an esteem issue. You can't relate with people of the opposite sex. It's, it's a whole journey. Yes. So you are dealing with an underlying psychological issue, but the way you are expressing yourself is totally different. Mm -hmm. Like some of us, we grew in boys' schools. Yeah. Me, I grew from class four all the way to form four. No interaction with the ladies. The first time I saw ladies was in campus uh -huh. and I was confused. <laughs> The first lady who said hi, I knew this is my girlfriend. You know, <laughs> the whole of my yes. life was a mess. Yeah. Psychologically, I was messed up. Uh -huh. I didn't know how to relate with women yeah. because you've grown in this masculine mm -hmm. society. Yeah. And most of the people who are victims of masturbation, there is an underlying issue that they are not addressing. They are either bitter, they are either afraid, afraid of pregnancy, afraid of heartbreaks. Uh, they are either with low self-esteem, they can't approach a lady. Because you, th there is a whole psychology mm. about it. Someone will go, take a photo of a lady, yeah. and then master the photo, then masturbate with that lady at night. Yes. So automatically, it's like they're having sex with that lady. So there is no contact. You can't say hi. So. So the, that's the underlying issue. <laughs> yeah. So that person will praise masturbation because at the end of the day, it is a cover up to yeah. the underlying issue. Mm -hmm. um, wh wh one of the things is that in all this self-indulgence, uh, we have to identify what is the underlying issue. And I've mentioned one, one is self-esteem. There could be many. Mm -hmm. One is self-esteem. Mm -hmm. People who grew without approval. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, the presence of a man in your life or even men in your life, whether you are dating them or not, there is a form of esteem boost that it gives you. You know, just knowing if, if, if today in the office that there is no one who talks to you of the opposite sex, yeah. you'll begin to ask, What's is it wrong that I'm with ugly? Me? Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. so that, that presence of people of the opposite sex, just general interaction will always boost the esteem. And, and there are people who don't have it. You may think they are focused and serious, but they are so low and it may have a lot of connection with how they were brought up. There's also the place of fear, the place of fear. And this one, I have to address it. Please go on. Some of us, when we were raised up, our parents were so tough. And guess what they told us? Stuck in Mimba Apa. Ndi ukweli. Na kumoja. And you knew how tough your mom was. And at that young subconscious mind fear was invested and then as you are growing you discover you have this sexual urge nobody taught you about self-control yeah. so someone introduced masturbation so you got a way of relieving the urge without disappointing your parents so you never get pregnant you don't you'll never get hiv you'll never exactly. get sti yes. they call it safe sex good yes it's the it's safe sex yeah. so at the end of the day so you grew with that fear and you didn't want to disappoint anyone. But right now, it's no longer a fear, it's a lifestyle that keeps on robbing your dignity. The, the other underlying factor, it's perversion, it's just perversion. You know, it's just perversion. And this perversion has a gate. Most of the people that were initiated into masturbation were also initiated into pornography. 
I was introduced into pornography when I was in class four. I was in a boarding school. So my class eight was on a back tour. And I was in a back tour. Na mina baki nao cuz I was a big boy uh, na baki nao so I didn't know what they were remaining to do in the DH yes. until one night I saw guys watching porn I tell you I left that place feeling pathetic at class 4 my mom will not even talk have to assumed you. You that know. I even know these things oh you even know how a woman looks like. yes I was an angel young innocent and all those things yeah. but at class 4 a door was open of perversion and pornography as young as class 4 And by the time I was in form 2, I knew all the porn suppliers in my area. Hey. And then by mistake our dad gave us like a small set of TV. Ah, you know now we sure. have our crib and all that. So yes. there was survival. Yeah. And I tell you this thing was so chaotic because now it's a, you you are already recruited. Yeah. You don't know out. Because when you got in it was teamwork. But now you are left Getting alone. A, you are an individual. And there are many people recruited today through you know all all the music we are seeing. all the you know the the current gangeton is nothing but sexualized and we've seen the data you've seen the yes. number of teen pregnancy yeah. of course it's inflated yeah. but it's a reality yeah. and what else would you expect when all this you see the nonsense of nyonga fest you know people are even hey, now nyonga after i was yes. going to ask you nyonga yes. because I, i i i saw kunyonga sai it's uh, because i it's went glorified. and did a bit of research about it yes. na kunyonga it's masturbation yes. and people are openly talking about it and, and i'll tell you people are not openly talking about it because yeah. they want it is a cry of hey guys help us We are stuck. Ah, This thing is there. It's a reality ah, in our society. Yeah. So it's a cry for help. Yes, people are putting a cool face, but deep down guys are crashing because any time a person masturbates, they feel empty. They feel a void. They feel desperate. They feel they, they can't even they can't face that person on the mirror. Yes. Th- th- there's there's a place they feel, man, I wish I can stop this thing. It, because it drains you. Yeah. The first thing it does is that it drains you spiritually. You can't even pray, you can't even commune with God, and I tell you spiritual health is very key for day-to-day operation. You'll find people who are healthy physically, healthy socially, but sick spiritually. And these are the people you'll find in a bar. They have a V8, well-paying salary, sitting there drowning in mm-hmm. alcohol. because they are not healthy spiritually they may not know it yeah. but it's a faculty in them that has to be healthy also yes. and this is now you know where people have things but they have no peace yeah. because this thing drains you spiritually yes. it also it reduces what i may call your decency because it doesn't respect rank you might be a ceo but stuck and sometimes the fact that you have this big office deep down you feel you don't have the decency of life because for me it's it's the unnatural way of addressing this appetite okay so it's 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 the, it's, it's, it's in the perversion level and anything that is not inclined with the formation of humanity will always make you feel like you're not in the lane of humanity mm-hmm. so it deprives you the joy and the peace of life it makes you feel miserable it makes you feel you know just wasted useless useless yes. at the end of the day yeah. and and it, it's it's a reality in our time okay. it has to be addressed it has to be yes. addressed and there's no shortcut to it mm-hmm. there there's no shortcut to it God. one I, of the remedies is that you have to create a culture of praying for one hour yeah. because you have to conquer the flesh it's an appetite of the flesh you have to conquer the flesh and it can be so addictive in a way you can get married and not get satisfied mm-hmm. with your wife yeah. because it's so addictive it's a quick fix last wants sex but sex does not sort last it's a paradox so at the end of the day for me i think is identify the underlying issues is it fear is it self esteem is it lack of approval is it witchcraft yeah is, is it, it witchcraft yeah. are you are you running away from people yeah uh masturbation is a product of atmospheres also most of the people who masturbate are loners they don't like people in their crowds <laughs> because they have a crowd they will invite Good. at some time yeah, yeah. so most of them they don't have a social life they always in their houses watching movies and some there are people who have mastered the art to a point of is like there's a time clock ikifika time flani is like the, the urge is so much yes. it's like it's so much in their system mm-hmm. that it must happen the way out for me is simple you'll never see coconut growing in kericho so be aware of the atmosphere always go na skiza ngamba mziki flani za ufala the whole night no no una expect it will not attack you Make sure that your social life is improved. You know, get friends. 
and let him watch ball. You know, mm. these are this is the social life. And let him watch ball, scream, shout. Shindueni, chongwa neni hapo, enda home. Good. Go home tired. Enroll into a gym. Burn the excess energy. Make sure by the time you go home, you are tired because it's it's just the flesh. Because it will only attack you when you are idle. Yes, it's a product of idleness. Um, watch the atmosphere. And then for believers, these are secret. Mm. Make sure that every day you pray for one hour. And those who pray in tongues, pray in tongues for one hour every day. That's what Jesus said. Can't you just study for an hour that you may overcome temptation? One hour prayer will help men overcome temptations. God. And you just need to build. If you are serious, you just need to build that culture. Yeah. It has worked. It has worked for me. Uh -huh. Yes. And it's something that works. It it's works. tested it, and it, yeah, works. it works. So we just have to commit. Yes. And you have to understand you have a problem. Yes. And you have to acknowledge. And it's a I'm journey. Fighting. Let me ask you, Pastor yes. T. Why is it that does these demons give people the spirit of fear? In a way, these topics are not easily accessible to anyone. Because I know we are sitting here talking about spirit wives, husbands, and yes. masturbation. Yes. But you won't hear these topics <laughs> as much as you hear other topics. Is there something in between why people don't get to hear these topics often? Two things. Yeah. Number one, you can't address what you're a victim of. So if, if I'm a victim, I lose the authority to address that issue. The reason why most of the wow. people don't have the authority to address sexual issues is because they are victims of the same. So they lose the moral authority. The second thing, these are like new devils. Uh, even my, 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 if I tell my mother about masturbation, she will not understand. Good. Because in their generation, they didn't deal with it. Yes. So these are new devils. So people, people are caught in it and they've never, they, they, they are caught in it, but they, it, the Bible does not give a definite answer. You will not hear anywhere in the Bible, thou shalt not masturbate. It's not directly mentioned. But the Bible speaks about, let even not an idea of sin be found in you. And it talks about all these other things. Because the greatest sexual organ is your head. Mm -hmm. If only you can change your head, you'll change so many things. Yeah. So, so these are for me are like the 21st century devils. Mm -hmm. And so God has to bring 21st century solutions yeah. because they are, even their entrance is through the mobile phones, the gadgets and all those. They get amplified through such avenues. So we need to now come up with voices and practical things that can happen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, lovely. Finally, anyone who is struggling with this, you know, yes. all these demons and devils and all this, you know, the fear, what what message do you have to them? And even these people now mm. who are advocating for Nyonga Fest. Yes. Yeah. I'll tell you the truth. Anyone advocating for Nyonga Fest, I want to believe majority of them are part of it. It is the cry. Have you ever realized that there were people who used to praise sex because they were victims and they will make virgins look like they are useless? In high school, their guys will be, ah, yeah, I, I have heard yes. that a couple Yo, of Yo, fala. Hey, 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 nini, nini. But yeah. when you look deep down, they are amplifying a cry in their heart. So they re really want to be like you, but they know this is a non reversal issue. Yeah. So it's the same thing. Most of the people amplifying it, majority of them, there's a cry that they are passing and they need help. They need to be helped. And mm -hmm. I hope they will watch and just get help. Yes. Um, what else do you ask? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted you to give someone advice, someone who is struggling with this. Idea. This is what I'll say. Yeah. People can walk with you, but nobody will ever walk you out of your addiction. You must be intentional. You must be deliberate. The, the, there is action for deliverance. And number two, always focus on the positive steps that you make. Like masturbation will be a journey. You might begin today, fall after three days. Don't focus on the one day you fell. Focus on the three days mm -hmm. you succeeded. Mm -hmm. So let your motivation be on the days you are strong, not the days you are weak. No, and days. it's a step at a time. Mm -hmm. And finally, and this one I'll share very personal. Yes level Please. for me to be delivered from pornography and all that is also going as a little desama tape nili chukuanga zote ni karusha cho nili kwa ni meombewa ni kachoka so there is a place of prayer there is a place of action kasa hizi hikitu na kukalia nunu waka bambe wachana smartphone kaa nayo miezi tatu there is sacrifice there is no freedom without sacrifice if you really want it you'll get the motivation to sacrifice mm -hmm. and above all the grace of God is sufficient to keep you.
yeah. yes. the grace of God is yes. sufficient. Yes. I know you have amazing sermons online. Yes. I was lucky enough to tune in when you were live <laughs> the other day and I loved the sermon. Wow. So uh, where can people find you? Oh, my, my, you know, on Facebook, I'm Pastor Tim Wangi. Mm -hmm. And we always have Bible studies Monday to Friday yeah. uh, from 8 to 9 every day, taking advantage of this COVID. But that's, that's my passion on Instagram. Twitter everywhere is mm -hmm. Pastor Tim Wangi, mm -hmm. even on YouTube. Yeah. Just look for Pastor Tim Wangi. You'll get a lot of amazing messages. Yes. yes. Thank you so much, Pastor well, Tim. Thank you. Thank I you. honestly, I know this is the first time yes. you are here at yes. Tuko, yes. but I look forward to having you here more often well, so you. we can even educate people. Yeah. Because I really want to use this sermon so that people can get something out of it. You know, not just stories, mm. but someone can take something home, you know. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I really do appreciate. Thank you. Yeah, and if you've watched us today, let us know what you think about this topic. If there's something I'm taking home with me is you have to be intentional and deliberate to fight whatever it is that you are going through. You want to share your story? Our email is on the description box. Till next time, my name is Lynn Gogi.